a really hard call, uh, record phone calls like that. Anyway, hello. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about helium pumps. Uh, helium pumps are, well, interesting. They're a bit like air pumps, but uh, they're not, quite obviously, because they've got helium in them. Anyway, so, first things first. Uh, I'm actually going to demonstrate it rather than anything else. Um, I'm going to build myself a box, a nice box out of light alloy as the weight of light alloy, interestingly enough, is lighter than wood and helium likes to float. So, first things first, let's get out of that mode and let's build a box. So, um, in my tests and things I've discovered that <coughs> you require somewhere in the region of 10 times the space to the weight to make a helium pump worth having. So we can see this has hit, hit a mass of one, so we need a space inside of approximately uh, 10 by 10, so 100 blocks. Okay. So let's just go across. Let's build a build a a largish rectangle. Three, four. Okay. So let's go over here. Same again. Oh, crap. Okay. Right, that's that done. And let's stick these on here. One, two, uh, two. One, two. And I really should have mirrored this. But, you know, in true style I didn't, so that one up, up, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, two meter beam. Okay, so we now have an enclosed cube. Let's work out the space inside. We'll be enclosed in a sec. Okay, so the space inside. So we got uh, three by four by one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. Three by four by nine. Uh, that's twelve by nine. Nine times twelve is one hundred and eight. So we've got one hundred and eight blocks of space in here. So the weight of the whole thing comes to eight point six. So that's just over ten times that mass. Okay. Uh, so let's drop it into the ocean. Drop it into the ocean, it'll float, it's light alloy. Light alloy likes to float. Right, so somewhere in the middle here, around the centre of mass, I'm going to stick on the ceiling, because obviously helium rises. Under air we can find our helium pump. <coughs> this, somewhere in the middle here, about there. Now if I come out, the whole thing's floating. That's pretty much what you need to know about helium. This will go up to an altitude of 300 meters. Uh, this is obviously dependent on your settings for your planet and so on, but uh, if, you, if you're running default like myself, it will reach an altitude of 300. <coughs> uh, you can stick things on the side to level it out. You can obviously stick PID in there, whatever you want. Um, I haven't tested an exact weight system yet to figure out what uh, weight is best where. Uh, so I'm going to try and do a little bit of that now. Uh, so I'm going to stick a, oh I don't know, let's stick a couple of metal blocks on the bottom, shall we? So one there, one there, like that. And how much gap have we got on the end? Two. So that's a gap of one, so let's put three. This is just to sort of even it out a bit. There we go, up three. So as you can see, our speed increase going into the air is still a bit low. Uh, let's check our, our proportion here. So our mass is 14.3. So as I calculated inside, we've got 108, so this is just uh, just over. So we're still, well, we're now actually travelling downwards again. So you can see that it is pr approximately 10 times for helium in helium height. But um, by putting those on the bottom in, in an even fashion, similar to how I've done it, even though it's not perfectly even as you can see weight-wise, um, it's actually levelled it out, it's put the bottom to the bottom, um, which if we zoom right in you can see that we've got the anchor mass anchor point right at the bottom of the unit 
so we can see roughly where it is and this will probably go all the way down to the ground or water in this case uh, which makes the helium pump kind of pointless but it kind of gives you an idea that you can use a helium pump to keep things in the air a little bit uh, so you could for example build something of questionable weight and add a whole load of helium pumps inside it just to uh, raise it out now helium pumps um, uh, work in the same way as air pumps for space so they require the same volume uh, area so you it's pointless if you're having two of these because if you put a second one in it does nothing as you can see um, it just literally changes it to one cubic meter less so that makes no odds um, I haven't tested it alongside a water pump air pump rather um, so let's stick that in but I believe that works in a very similar fashion the fact it's not submerged the uh, helium pumps actually taken over now if you're trying to raise it out of the water by um, clearing water out I don't believe a helium pump will help with you I'm going to load a, a largest vehicle of mine which is not light um, <coughs> it's a very boring base boat, it's got literally nothing in it. So, inside here we have, well, water. As you can see I've got air pumps, obviously only one's working. So, let's stick a helium pump in here. Helium pump, there we go. So, if we stick a helium pump there, you can see it is literally not doing anything at all. So, if I remove our air pumps now, the helium pump is still doing nothing. So as you can see that it doesn't provide anything if it's not actually in air. So it needs to be in air. So let's get rid of that one. Or have I got more on this end? More on this end. Let's clear those out. One, two. So as you can see the helium pump doesn't need to be in air, but it doesn't provide anywhere near the flotation an air pump provides. So if your vehicle is a water-borne vehicle, then you're going to have problems just using a helium pump. So let's just see. Yeah, so it's exactly the same thing again. So it says here, such and such is flooded, none, which is good. So it is removing the water, but it's not providing enough buoyancy. Um... you're better off using one of those to increase uh, the height of a vehicle by utilizing a large area let's say on top of a vehicle it's also better to be used on a lighter vehicle than a heavier vehicle as you can kind of demonstrate to see. so we have a mass of 1067 and only 3,000 cubic meters. Remember the 10 times rule, which means we've actually only got 30% of the required amount to float this in the air. So we would need to make this thing three times larger with the same mass for it to be worth having as uh, any form of buoyancy aid in water. Um, so I'd say go, go around 90% to make it any uh, it's worth replacing your air pumps with. So obviously that's, uh, let's say you had a 1,000 mass, it would have to have 900 um, cubic metres of, or 9,000 cubic metres of space inside to make it, well, near enough float, uh, as, as well as an air pump would. So uh, there's your basic tutorial on that. Um, helium pumps are pretty boring. They don't do a lot. They are controllable, as with every type of air pump out there. 100% running by bit by default, put it down to zero. So you could potentially use this in a really light vehicle floating in the air to control its height. Remember, PIDs do have the ability to control height. Demonstration coming up. PID, there we go. So as you can see, you can set air pump altitude. So this air pump altitude will affect. everything. So let's put that on there, test stimulus one, there we go, so you can see that's that's basically doing everything it possibly can to get it out of the water, it's never going to happen. But um, 
Yeah, so you can use the air pump altitude feature uh, for helium pumps to determine what altitude to run at. Um, you can set up a contro complex controller to make adjustments. I don't really use it very often myself, but obviously that can affect the testing of this. Handy. Um, yeah, that's not a lot to helium pumps really. Um, hope this has been useful. Um, thanks for watching. If you've got any more suggestions, please put them in the description. Uh, in the description, the comments. Um, if you'd rather I structured my videos in a more formal manner, so for example, stats, uh, the build, the the information, please let me know as well. I I would appreciate anything uh, to improve the videos for you to watch. Uh, thanks.